Hi guys, I'm Miss Linda. I'm in the clubhouse of our Bell Road branch of our Newburgh Chandler Public Library. I brought Mr. Panda. You may remember I told a story about Mr. Panda several weeks ago. This is another one with Mr. Panda. One day, Mr. Panda had a whole box of donuts. He was looking around and walking around when he saw Penguin. Mr. Panda said, Penguin, would you like a donut? Penguin said, yes, give me one right now. Mr. Panda said, no, you may not have a donut. I have changed my mind. Next, Mr. Panda saw Skunk. Skunk, would you like a donut? Yes, give me the blue one and the pink one. No, you may not have a donut, said Mr. Panda. I have changed my mind. Mr. Panda saw ostrich. Hi, ostrich. Would you like a donut? No. Go away and leave me alone. So Mr. Panda went away. He saw whale. Whale, would you like a donut? Yes, said Whale. Give me all of the donuts and then bring me some more. No, said Mr. Panda. I've changed my mind. You may not have a donut. Isn't there anyone who wants a donut, said Mr. Panda? Lemur said, me, I would like a donut. Please, Mr. Panda, please may I have a donut? Mr. Panda said, yes, you may have them all. So Mr. Panda gave Lemur all of his donuts. Lemur said, thank you, Mr. Panda. I love donuts. Mr. Panda walked away and said, I do not like donuts. And that is the story of Please, Mr. Panda. Stick around and I'll tell you about the donuts in my story. But first, whoops, that's the bag. Here's the book, Please, Mr. Panda. It is by Steve Antony. If you would like to go back and watch I'll Wait, Mr. Panda, check out our YouTube page on our library webpage and you'll find that story too. Now, for the donuts that I used in my story today, I made them myself. I am so proud of these little donuts. They are little tiny felt donuts. I stitched them together, I stuffed them, and then I gave them icing and stitched on little tiny beads to be their decorations. I had so much fun making them. I love to sew and make little things. Maybe you would like to make some donuts of your own, but maybe you don't like to sew as much as I do, or maybe you would like a different kind of donut that your little brothers or sisters could play with. I'll show you how you can make some of those too.
I have a whole basket of donuts here. There are some pink and some green, some chocolate icing, some more chocolate icing. These donuts are made out of socks. I will unroll my donut and show you how you can make one. This is called a sock. But do you notice what it's missing? It's missing the toe, isn't it? You can buy socks. These are big people socks, but you can make yours out of little kid socks too. It just depends on how big you want your donut to be. You cut the toe off of the sock. Make sure you check with your parent first. And then you start at the toe end of the sock. It's a little tricky until you get used to it, but not really hard at all. You just roll it up and roll it up and roll it up and roll it up. And when you get to the end, you just kind of hmm, smoosh it around until it makes a nice donut shape. Like that. And then I just cut out a circle of felt. You could use paper, you could use fun foam. Cut out a circle to fit on the top of my donut and cut another little circle out of that to be the hole. I glued the icing on top of the donut so that these little edges got stuck down. And then after I glued them down, I used paint some glitter paint. This is more glitter paint, but maybe you don't have paint. You can also use markers and make your sprinkles with markers. Or maybe you don't want sprinkles on your donut at all. They are your donuts. You can choose how to make them. Thanks guys. I'll see you next week with another story.